Hey guys, welcome to the finale of Metroid Prime using action replay codes. We have all artifacts, all energy tanks. We did miss a few missile expansions, maybe power bomb expansions, and some scans. This is not 100%, but otherwise we're all ready to go to the end of the game, and why not? Yoshi's Crafted World just ended. It's time to end this one too. I forgot how short this game is when you do have the opportunity to sequence break. I suppose the opportunity is always there, it's just how you do it. But moon jumping has definitely aided in that. Excuse me, Dooler. I'm trying to get through. Thank you. I do love that window still. Window still, not window sill. Now, isn't there a hidden thing behind here? I guess not. I could have sworn there was some hidden Chozo lore that you can't access until you have pretty much like everything, or at least power bombs. I don't know. Let's just go do, um... The finale here. I like the end sequence of this game. It's one thing in that it does have that Super Metroid kind of has, too. This is a really cool shot, too. We're basically returning the 12 artifacts, and if you actually take the time to read the lore, or like the Chozo lore and stuff, I think they sealed off access to Talon 4's, like, restricted area due to it being such a dangerous threat or whatever. That's what this is all about. I forget, honestly. But, uh-oh! It's about time this guy showed back up! Meta Ridley. A lot of people's favorite, um... iteration of Ridley. Although I'm still partial to Super Metroid myself. I remember this was one of my favorite moments, my first time playing this game, though, solely for the music, because it brought me right back to Super Metroid. Well, jeez, give me a chance to fight back! Alright, here we go! Where are you? There you are. Out of scanning range. Did it, did it, did it. Meta Ridley, genetically enhanced, reborn, and evolved through pirate technology. He's a fearsome enforcer. The chest is the weak point. Man, this guy's all kinds of loaded. Don't be doing airstrikes on me, jeez. I don't know if Hyper Beam could hurt him. I'm also still afraid to softlock the game. I do want to try it, but let's just kind of stick with it. There's actually a weird... Man, your heat-seeking missiles. There is a weird thing with this boss fight, though. The boost ball does crazy damage to him. Like, right now, if I could boost ball... As he flies close, you can cut his life in half. It does so much damage, it's ridiculous. If you watch a speedrunner, but obviously I with moon jump active, I can't boost ball. Okay, where are you? Oh man. It definitely does speed up the fight, because this whole first phase he just likes to fly around. Another reason why I prefer Super Metroid's Ridley battle, because it's just all in your face. And this one is like, all right, let's get on with it here. It does get cool, though, once he lands. There we go. I forget what he does exactly. Power bombs, huh? They yours? Oh, yeah, his mouth is a weak point. I think, unless he absorbs the energy, I can't remember. Are we back to the flying business already? Holy crap! Wait, did that actually... <laughs> it's wrecking him, dude! Open up! One more time, buddy! Bye, Ridley! Holy crap, that beam is deadly! I'm glad it didn't softlock the game. Poor Ridley, he just got his butt handed to him. Don't mess with Samus. Lesson learned. These guys. What are you being nice now after all that attacking me? All of that for a fountain? You gotta be kidding me. 
But hold on, before that, there was a pile of rubble here. Is this where the Chozo lore is? Or am I completely off of my rocker? Bombs away. Six power bombs to go, man. Wait. What the heck? There's definitely something up with this place that I'm forgetting, but let's get on with it, shall we? Impact Crater. The final area is like the Torian of this game. Did I say that already? I may have said that. This place, I remember. Kind of. I don't know if I remember. Isn't there a power up in here? I know there's some new scans. There's a whole new type of Metroid. A new type of Phazon, too, that the Phazon suit does not protect you from. Yeah, this orange stuff. Material is highly radioactive. Yeah, what are these guys? Oh, get back here. Let me scan you. Quit jumping around. Whatever it was. Nice Torian-esque music, all bubbly and... Oh, no. Now, this room is crazy. So many platforms. Oh, hey, this guy's new. Who are you? A fission Metroid. Ability to split in two, that's right. Yeah, crud, he's on me. I'm getting careless. Power bomb the crap out of him. I forget how you fight them normally. Well, that is how you do it, isn't it? Um, okay, so there's two doors. There's a save station or something. Look, no, there's not a save station. It's missiles. I'm just moon jumping because I can. Although I do have pretty vivid memories of climbing this room and refighting this boss a couple times as a, a younger boy. Wow, this isn't doing anything. They're all right here, too. Jeez. Hold on. Ah, get off! <laughs> Jeez, man. Open the door. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful because there's no power bomb recharge here. This is all missiles, but that's good because the final boss, we like to use the, uh, The missile-consuming beam power-ups. Alright, let's get to the door and get out of here before another one latches on. This is a cool area, though. I like it. I like the colors. I like the sounds. Yeah, this room, doesn't it have a secret? I don't know, but... Look at the boss through this door. This used to creep me out. Look at that the face, dude. That is clearly a face, but it's not even the face of this thing. But here it is, the final boss of Metroid Prime, aptly named Metroid Prime. What? But I thought you played as Metroid. Haha. <laughs> Can't get the scan in yet, but this is a cool boss fight. It lasts a pretty long time, too. Lots of sub levels to jump down. Speaking of, now I got urges to play Pikmin, too. All right, let's go, buddy. Scan him first. Look at that face. Metroid Prime, highly evolved, phase on producing life form. All right, well, basically, the color that he is is the beam that he's weak to. So you're going to want to use, like, Super Missiles, Wave Buster, Flamethrower, and Ice Spreader. Apparently the Hyper Beam does nothing. Alright, when he does that, I got a duck. Wait, now Moon Jump didn't save me. Okay, he's Wave Beam now. Hold on, I'm all kinds of turned around. Rapid Fire Wave Beam, go nuts! Oh, jeez. Wow, look at that slowdown. That's why this gun is not Rapid Fire. Holy crap. Nice. All right, where's the little hole? You're supposed to... Oh, he's going down to the next sub level. Okay, so now... I think he introduces Ice Beam as a potential weakness. Or maybe he sticks to... Power and Wave for a little bit, and then it's the next sub level that he adds in Ice and Plasma. But yeah, Super Missiles are a beast. Avoid that laser if you can. Nice. Now get in the little divot. Preferably not the middle one, because his tail can scoop you out. And you do have a quick second to get in a couple shots. Ah, oh, I missed. 
Yeah, he's ice. This is gonna be beautiful with rapid fire. Yeah, look at that. Ice Beam and Plasma do so much damage to him. Ah, crud, I'm in the middle. Somehow he missed. Yeah! Alright, back to Wave. Wave is like the worst one. I'm gonna use the Wave Buster. Just hold down the fire, you just like latch on. But the missiles go down like crazy if you do that. Alright, here we go. Now he's probably gonna introduce Plasma. I'm just hoping not to softlock the fight somehow. I already tested out Hyper Beam, but I'm probably not gonna use it. I don't know about the second phase. Oh crap, I forgot about this! Ah, I tried to get the super missile off in time, but it was too late. I do like this final boss, though. It's just fun to fight. It's nice to be able to utilize all of your beam's abilities in a spot that makes sense for once. Oh yeah, he does this. He launches these two bubbles depending on... They're the color depending on whatever color he is. They might get me too. They're pretty deadly. Ah, yeah, see what they do? Take them out. Yeah, you can shoot them with the same kind of beam that they are, or I think one missile takes them out too. They also give you energy and missile drops if you're lucky. He's already down below half, though. It is kind of quick, isn't it? Yeah, here we go, Plasma. Although, you know what I haven't said yet? I think the Rapid Fire Code messes up the Plasma Beam. Like, doesn't this normally fire much faster than this? But this is as fast as it's letting me fire. I mean, it still packs a punch, though. Stop shooting those things! Down we go. This might be the last one. Yes, I love when he's... Uh, oh, he switched on me. Yeah, that's right. He starts doing whatever he wants on this last sub-level. Yeah, those, those super missiles really bring him down a lot. I don't know, I guess you could argue probably power is the worst luck. Because the power beam is junk. But super missiles are nice. What are you doing? Oh, not wave, I hate wave beam. Alright, wave buster, go! Where's my HUD? It went away, there it is. Yeah, he's almost done. Nice, that's a good use of the rapid fire there. All right, plasma, we're doing it. I wish he went to ice, but okay. These things are gonna get me, man. Uh... Ah, crud! Those missiles, man, they're crazy. Ridley had something similar, though. All right, one more cycle should do it. Go to ice, please. Nah, that's crap. What? Did he deflect the super missile? This is not good. That crud. Man, that, he just comboed the crap out of me. Stop shooting those stupid things. The power beam sucks at taking them out. Let's go with missiles. Yeah, one missile, that's all you need. Super missile to the face! Yeah, you're done! And down he goes. Oh, that's right, you gotta actually walk to the hole for this one. Alright, now this I'm really curious about, since we already have Hyper Beam. This is the only part of the game that you're supposed to have Hyper Beam, or Phase on Beam. And it's a scripted part of the fight, really, that's limited. Basically, if you've never seen it before, he produces little small puddles of Phazon 
and you have to stand in them with either your thermal visor or x-ray visor and hold A and you absorb the whole puddle and shoot it. That's the phase on beam. So we'll get the scan in. And now I'm very curious. Can I use it? It's doing something. Eat it. It's it's over. <laughs> wow. That's insane, dude. Didn't even get a chance for his life bar to fill up. Unless I didn't notice it, I don't know. I'm glad that didn't freeze the game or softlock or anything, but here you go, the birth of Dark Song is. Crater collapse imminent, evacuate immediately. Well, there it is. Metroid Prime is beaten, although that was not 100%. I'm very curious, though. I'm curious of my time and percentage. Of course, you gotta do the cool Batman-type jump off of the thing. I think I remember too, the best ending, it's not time related, I don't think. It's percentage related. You get a bonus scene if you get 100%. I think that's what it is, but yeah, there she is. Cool music that reminds me of Super Metroid again. Nice side nose with all that weird scrunched up shadowing. It looked weird. Side nose? I mean, I guess it's a thing. Now it's the credits. I think after the credits, if you got 100%, you get a bonus scene. And since I didn't, I'll just tell you what it is. Um, you just, it just is a scene of what Samus ran away from, that giant phase on explosion after beating Metroid Prime. And you see a hand shoot out, and the back of the hand has an eye on it. And that's it. And then that bleeds into Metroid Prime 2. This music is phenomenal, by the way. Especially this credits version, it extends longer than the the file select screen. Chuck Christ? Oh, Christ. Whatever. But Metroid Prime 2, speaking of... At some point my dad must have had some kind of weird memory lapse, and he bought me this game again. Even though I already had it. And he got me... The Metroid Prime bundle that was like bundled with the Metroid Prime 2 demo so it had two discs in it the full game Metroid Prime and a demo for Metroid Prime 2 and then later on we did have Metroid Prime 2 and I must have played like 30% of that game and I gave up I just I lost interest not that it was hard or anything I just kind of going back to what I said in part one I'm way more of a 2d Metroid fan and I remember like all the halo comparisons and stuff I just was very bothered by the slow, floaty movement, and I got tired of it. Like, I just didn't want to play it anymore. So, like, not even halfway through Metroid Prime 2, I was just like, I'm done with this. I don't, I don't care to finish it. I don't know if my dad ever beat it, but then I, like an idiot, sold it to GameStop along with... I sold so many GameCube games to GameStop. Like, I had a huge GameCube collection, and now I barely have anything left. And... My dad later on on his own did get Metroid Prime 3 Corruption and I went and visited him once and he was like, you should try this, it's fun. And I played just like a not even hour, an hour's worth of that. This is the best part of the song. Huge wall of thanks to my little bro. There's something satisfying about seeing that much text on screen scrolling. 
But yeah, whatever complaining I did about 3D Metroids, you gotta hand it to them. They did a great job translating it from 2D and creating the Prime series. I think Metroid Prime 2 is the least liked of the three, is it not? A lot of people say that game is kind of like a mixed bag. Some people love it, but most people are kind of like, eh, one and three are better. It's kind of like that black sheep kind of, well, maybe not even that. Interesting little scene. Now here we go, this is the results, is it not? Mission percentage, 84! Three hours, 24 minutes. 84? I could have sworn I was in the 90s. How did I miss 16% of stuff? Two missile expansions I could think of in Fendrana Drifts, one in the Root Cave. I didn't get all the Chozo lore, because isn't there a message that pops up? How could I have missed that many scans, though? I don't know. I thought I did much better than 84, but whatever. Yeah, I don't know if I can think of 16 things that I missed. But there is one thing we could kill some time with. Um, there is an image gallery, and it is 100% complete, because I had some trouble restarting this Let's Play. So I did delete my normal 100% file, but there's still the hard 100% file. And I think even if you deleted that, the image gallery is saved. But yeah, you can see that 53% is where I messed up and got stuck, and I had to go back. Yeah. It took six hours to beat it 100% on hard. You gotta figure I knew kind of what I was doing at that time. I forget the speedrunners. They do like a minute or whatever. But let's do the image gallery. Take a look. Scrolling through it backwards. Why not? And we get to hear the actual title screen music, not the big fancy one. This is some cool art, though. I do like it. Yeah, the fusion shoot. I, was like, fusion shoot? I gotta play that game, man. I gotta play Metroid Fusion, but I don't know, man. I really don't know what I'm doing. That's a really cool art thing. I like it. But yeah, I really don't know what I'm doing. I could ramble off a bunch of games that I want to do, but as I tend to say way too much and then never follow through with, like, I gotta focus on real life. So this should be the final episode of this. It is, uh, along with Yoshi's Crafted World, which ended today. And I've got no plans as of right now to work on anything else. Kind of taking a break and going to enjoy the summer and also try to turn my life around. That's kind of my focus right now. Um, but I mean, I could do action replay on like Star Fox Adventures, uh, Fire Emblem Path of Radiance, Fire Emblem, the first Fire Emblem game on Game Boy Advance. There's a lot of games I want to play still, but I don't know. They'll come when they come, I suppose. But thanks a lot for watching, you guys, and thanks for all the support, especially in recent months and stuff. It's definitely appreciated, and I will see you guys when I see you. I don't know what game's gonna be next. Like I said, I could give you a whole list of games that I want to do, and uh, it's just a matter of when I get around to doing it in conjunction with real-life stuff. So until then, take care.